Hello everyone. Welcome to Coders Camp. So we are today at the second day of April Lead Code Challenge and the problem today we are going to cover is ones and zeros. So the input given here is a string array which consisting of binary strings that is zeros and ones and we are given yum and n that represent the number of zeros and number of ones should be there in the subset. So we have to return the largest subset that there are at most m zeros and n ones in the subset. So let's see how are we going to approach this problem. So here is a given input string array and we have to form a subset which consisting of at most five zeros and three ones. So now let's consider we are going to form a subset. Subset one, let's say, is going to have the strings one zero 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 one. So so far we have made two ones and four zeros we, we need five ones and three zeros so we need one more one and one more zero if you consider the third string they have more number of zeros and ones than we expect so move on to the next string that is one and zero if you add both the strings to our subset it will be fulfilled that is it is having at most yum zeros that is five zeros and three ones so now let's construct subset two with this largest string so now if you add the string, this is having four ones and two zeros. In this case, we again need one one and one zero. So if you add one and zero, it will fulfill the rule that is consisting of five ones and three zeros. So our problem statement asked for the largest subset length. So here we have two possible solutions. One subset is of length three and other subset is of length four. So so subset 1 is going to be the largest because it is having 4 strings in the subset. So that is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this problem? So if we are considering a string to put it on our subset, there are two options. So either we accept the string and put that to our subset or we reject the string and move on to select the next string in the array. So if we are accept the string, then from total number of yums and yens, that is from total number of ones and zeros, one one and one zero will reduce. Simply the number of zeros in the string we accepted and the number of ones from the string we accepted will reduce. Then m and n will become four and two. If we are rejecting the string, then it is going to stay the same as the previous status. So for single string, we have two options. By the same way, from this state, we can explore the next string with those two options. So let's see how are we going to do that. After accepting or rejecting the string one, we further explore our string two with two options by accepting and rejecting. So if we are accepting 10 and accepting second string as well, the state will become m is equal to one and n is equal to one. The same way, if we are not accepting string one and string two as well, the number of zeros and ones gonna stay the same. So further, it expands exploring the other strings given in the input. So here in this tree, we are not going to see all the options in the given input, but some important ones. In our previous videos to solve this kind of problems, that is exploring all possible ways, we have used two techniques. One is recursion and other is DP. So here today, we are going to see dynamic programming approach to solve this problem. Consider to solve a dynamic programming approach, we are going to have a two-dimensional array dp whose indexes are representing the number of zeros and number of ones we needed from the input strings. So now to reach five zeros and three ones, what are the possible ways in the given subtree? So first considering the string one zero for our first approach, we are moving on to a second string and considering we are adding this also to our subset. So moving on to a third string, if we add the third string, the scenario will become invalid as it has more number of ones and zeros than we needed. So ignoring this and further moving on to our fourth string and fifth string, if we are accepting both one and zero, then it will become m is equal to zero and n is equal to zero. So the number of strings we have added here is one and zero, that is two. And other string is the second string zero, 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 one and one, zero. So if you look at the right subtree from 0 comma 0 we are going to consider both 1 and 0 the two strings and one level up we are going to consider this string which itself will form 5 comma 3 so by adding 1 0 
and this string, the total three strings will reach you to 5 comma 3. So out of which this side gives you the larger output. So we are going to consider this side for us. So now we are going to see how we are arriving at the solution for each sub problem to solve this problem. So now we are going to reach the state 4 comma 2 that is dp of 4 comma 2. To reach 4 comma 2 we did not accept this string at all and then reach directly to 4 comma 2 from the previous state or we are accepting the string also by accepting this string that is from dp of 1 comma 1 we are going to accept this string with three zeros and one one to reach dp of 4 comma 2. So here simply what we did is we accepted this string that is plus one string to our output plus one length as our output. Hope you are getting it. Same way here if you want to reach 5 comma 3 you either did not accept its string at all and just stay in the same state as before or from dp of 2 comma 2 accepting this string 0, 0, 0, 0001 to reach 5 comma 3 that is from dp of 2 comma 2 to reach 5 comma 3 we accepted the string with three zeros and one one to reach 5 comma 3 so for every sub problem we are going to check that is to reach this particular state we are going to check which is giving you the maximum length or maximum subset whether staying in the same state as the state we are checking or from the previous state plus accepting this particular string. So how do we find the previous state? So if we are considering this particular string 0001, the previous state would be the number of zeros and number of ones subtracted from the current state. That is from 5, if you are considering the string 0001, the number of zeros is 4 sorry 3 and number of 1s is 1 so if you subtract it from 5 comma 3 it will become 2 comma 2 so from 2 comma 2 if we are accepting this particular string we are going to reach the state 5 comma 3 so we are going to check for every sub problem whether staying in the same state gives you the maximum value or by accepting this particular string will reach you to that state so simple hope you are understanding this if not you are gonna get it surely when you see the code so before going to code this algorithm gonna work in big o of the total number of strings and its length into number of ones and number of zeros given in the input so let's see the code now so as we saw we are going to declare a 2d array dp And I'm going to iterate through all the given strings in the input array strs. And first I'm going to calculate the number of zeros and ones in that particular string. So now we have calculated the number of zeros and ones in that particular string. So now we are going to loop in through our dp array. So we are going to check every time to reach that particular state. Math dot max of whether we stay in the same state by not accepting the string or not adding the string to our subset or from the previous state we are adding one string to our subset so how to check the previous state that is from the current state subtract the number of zeros and ones of that particular string and plus one that is from that previous state we are accepting that particular string so that's it. Once all the values in dp array is calculated, our final result will be at uh, dp of m comma n. That is the state of having m zeros and m n ones.
So yes, the code is done. Hope it is very simple to understand as well. So let's run. Yes. Let's submit. So yes, our code is accepted. So yes, hope I made it simpler this time. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.